We're real close to, to uh, where there's some shots fired. I don't know if it's drive-by shooting or or whatever, but we're real close to the area. Got some people out here in the park that looks like a crashed vehicle. Uh, ran to a couple of other vehicles. That could be the issue. Just start PD my way. All right, let's see what's going on. Hey, how are you? That's what I called that. Man. It was, uh, uh, shots, man. Huh? Like the OK Corral, long shots. They started off in there. OK. Right in that uh, round there. And one, and one of them spun out and come up here and hit did, these, and the other one spun out there and there. OK, did uh, anybody get a look at the drivers or anything One like young that? lady said that it was uh, uh, a, land, land a land, black Land Rover that came up. A Land Rover? There. The last description we got is of a black Land Rover. It should have extensive damage. I've got four cars involved here in the parking lot. They look like they're uh, 40 millimeter shell yeah. casings. Yeah. That one here, there. Let's see if we can talk to some uh, witnesses. There's the vehicle right there. SO683 radio, there's a Land Rover with a lot of damage. Just came to the back entrance of the parking lot, driving around to the front. The front bumper damaged, the window's blown out on the back side. See if you can get that vehicle stopped. All right, we got subjects right now. Ma'am, drop your purse on the ground. Drop it on the ground. Everything in your hands on the ground. Stand there. Face that vehicle. On top of your head. Oh, like, oh, like. I don't speak a lot of English, sorry. Clear in here. You were driving, right? Okay. That's all I need to know. No, he was driving. Ma'am, you just drove past me in the back. Yeah, but I was driving over here. Okay. I saw you come through the back. That's what I'm saying. You were driving. I saw you with these, but you just now came in the back. I'm not talking about earlier, I'm talking about right now. Right now, I came to break. Yeah, I, I swapped. That was my question. Did you, were you, weren't you driving it? She's driving right now with me. You talk to that officer. I'm talking to her. She can answer for herself. The suspect vehicle that was reported involved in the drive-by, it's got extensive front end damage. Uh, the back window shot out, the side window shot out. You can see the bolt holes that's impacted this vehicle here. Obviously, the window's blown out here. Another bullet hole right here. So this vehicle sustained some pretty bad damage. Matter of fact, I think we have what may be part of a round up in the windshield. You're in a vehicle that has obvious damage and was reported in being involved in a drive-by shooting. You come back to the scene in the vehicle. That's probable cause enough for us to detain you and her to figure out what's going on. That's how this works. You're not free to go, but you're detained. You understand that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I just watched a film of it. Okay. He came up. They did. They did, it was a drug deal. They, they were. He got out with the blue bag. Okay. And silver car came up. Okay. And they started shooting at him. Okay. He took off up around, hitting the hitting everything. Okay. Good. So at least we got that. We can charge them with that. This is how it was found. Woo! There we go. All right. So, Looks like uh, three kilos of cocaine. This is a drug deal. Someone came up here to rip him. It's pretty obvious. It's pretty evident. Three kilos, maybe four for something else wrapping that towel. Yeah, yeah, there's something else underneath that towel. I just don't know what it is, and I'm not touching it. Yeah. So right now, it's an active investigation. They're going to get search warrants for the SUV. So there's a lot more investigating that's going to have to go on. Right now, the CSI is there. Detectives have been called. And um, we have the county officers that are there right now uh, helping with CSI.